Hi, I'm Savannah. I'm 25. I'm from Austin, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. So what do you do here for a living in Austin? So I work as a digital image editor for a tech company. Did, okay, very mm-hmm. cool. And how much are we making in that? So I'm making 3600 a month, and that's after taxes. That's your net, 3600 Yes. Okay, because I have here... So you work 70... This is... Hold so, on. So I mean, I, That's not what happened here. You brought in 1735 So that was like an exception because I did take some time off took like an extended lunch um, to go extended to lunch. yeah to go to my roommate's um, white coat ceremony so that was like so that lost half your pay yeah it's just you know I wanted to be there to like support them and I was like so okay, you're gone for two weeks I that's was, your extended lunch no I was gone for like I think it was like two hours instead of 30 minutes the fuck you, how do you lose half your pay from that that doesn't make sense I you well, make thirty six hundred after taxes. Thirty six hundred a month, eighteen hundred a paycheck normally. Yeah, but this was after working almost eighty hours, seventy six hours. Oh, that's what weird. are you talking about? I'm talking about like two weeks, so that's like eighty hours a week. Is you do not work eighty hours a week, do you? Normally, I work eighty hours a week, just not at that point. That's why I had the seventeen thirty five, and then it's okay. gonna be eighteen hundred. No, this makes sense. Yeah. Sorry. That I'm makes talking. sense. So this is your two week paycheck. You don't yes. work at eighty hours a week. So this is your two week paycheck. Yes. So that's not that different. Yeah. One seven three five. So in this case, three thousand four hundred seventy is what you would have made this month. But yes. usually it's closer to thirty six hundred. Yes. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's all good. It's good. I had a little disconnect there. I probably looked like a dummy, but that's okay. No, it's all good. And it's probably gonna look something similar this month just because I did take time off to go to the doctors. So it'll probably look similar to that too. Do you not have like paid? No. So we don't have any pay time off. Um, we have three days that we can call out but we don't. Three days is per? Per year. The f- it's a 12 month contract. The f- this is a contract? Yes. When's the 12 months done? Next month. And then what? Then what are you doing for a living? Then I, I'm currently applying to jobs. Uh, oh, part-time so nothing's lined up no i haven't gotten any callbacks and then even people who are trying to come back to their contract they're not getting any luck either great what were you doing before this 12 months so i was working well okay so i did last month last year was kind of weird so it was like i was working at a gallery while doing part-time at school and then i worked as an overnight stalker while i was transitioning transitioning Okay, yeah. Yeah, trans- transitioning from the gallery to the new job that I have. You have a degree? Yes. In? And so I have two degrees. I graduated with studio art, a BFA, and then a BS in radio, television, and film from ET. Okay. But that was back in 2020. Okay. So then last year, well, okay. So the end of 2020, I guess 2022, um, I went back to school for a six-month coding boot camp. Oh, boot camps are good. I mean, I like certifications through course careers and there's good boot camps around here there's a lot of good things like that what would you do so i went for full stack web development and i'm going towards doing full front-end web development okay so you found that's your passion or just that's the money it's very competitive market right now yeah that's the downside when i found out was like right when the end of my coding boom camp it was kind of like oh well the market's actually really you're in a decent first. town for it, but even still, yeah. it's like, yeah, it's you're going to be competing against a lot of other yeah. people. All right. So what is your financial situation? What are, what are we looking at here today? I would say it's pretty bad. So like, oh. okay, so whenever I went to college in the first, like, first time I went to school, um, my parents, they just gave me, like, a credit card and, like, here, we don't want you to work. Um, while you're in school, so we're just going to give you a credit card and then you'll be fine. We'll help pay it off. And so I was like, okay. Wait, but the credit card was under your name or theirs? Yes, it was under my name. So they didn't give you a credit card. They convinced you to take out a credit card? Yes, I guess. But like, so it was me and my sibling um, because we're well, 20, well, yeah. On one? On one, yeah. So I have one and it it was 300 starting off and then it Ooh, kind of well, You up. were both on it. Someone was an authorized user? No, they had their own credit card. So they so they for both of us. So your, your parents convinced you both to open up credit cards? Yes. Okay. 
So they were like, yeah, we want you to build credit. So here's a credit card. And they said, we'll pay it off. So we just want you to go to school. So then you'll be fine. And even... Okay, no offense, but this is not one credit card that we're going through. You also have like a really stupid car debt. Did your parents make you get really stupid car debt? Not... Well, okay, so for okay. that, um, they pretty much had like no money. So they were just like, here, so, take out stuff. Well, what does your parents having money have to do with it? It's your life. You're an adult. Well, it's like... Do you blame your parents for everything? Well, right now, they're kind of like, they didn't really teach me anything about oh, like... Oh, come on. No one, credit cards or... no one gets taught that in America. Well, I mean, if you're lucky, you are, but you learn it yourself. Well, they didn't even teach you about you're like, just, But if you're just blaming people immediately, like, what the f***? That's just, like, deflection ultimate right out of the gate. Well, like, they didn't even tell us... Like, I didn't even know about the whole, like, oh, only have rent that's 30% of your income. Yeah, like, me either. I didn't Neither find that out the until majority maybe, of like, last year. Yeah. That's, uh, how, that's how that happens. But you're blaming them now. Well, because even right now, their situation is really crap. And that, I'm like, that, that, so who cares? That's not you. Like, still, though, it's like... Oh, my... F All right. Okay. Well, we'll get into that. Now I know why Brandon gave us interrogation lighting today. And they didn't even just do that to me. Okay. They also did it for, like, all my okay. other siblings, too, so... Okay. Calm down. And then... Oh, okay. What? Well, so, I also have student loan debt, and... I know. We're going to go through your debt. Their advice was to just take out all the loans. Like, tuition, any money they can give me, I accepted. And I also did summer the school. They, you mean, like, student loan providers? Like, yes. So, the government student loans. And they told that to me, my brother, and then pretty much my other siblings, too. Like, oh, we don't have money for college, so just take out the loans and we'll help you pay for it after you're done with college. And now that those it's are a back bit weird, I would love to hear their side of it though. If they would yeah. agree that that's exactly how that transpired, it I would say it's like not their exact words, but definitely like, hey, do the FAFSA, do this, and then and like we'll we fine. will pay for it. We will pay for. They took out the Parent Plus loans, and they're like, well, we'll what about the ones here. you took out? They said they would pay for it. They said, don't worry about it now. Wait till you graduate, and then you can get a job. <sighs> You'll be fine. State of financial literacy in this country. Hmm. All right. Give yourself a score. Zero to ten. Zero being the worst, ten being the best. Where do you think you are finances? Mm, one. I'm, I'm going to say one. Okay. Well, yeah. that's fair enough. If you want your hammer financial score, it's free in the description below. This is a pile. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a pile. Yeah. PayPal credit. Mm. PayPal credit, I've had. I've had it's, it's weird to call this fun but i've had fun with paypal credit because it's like a good way to zero percent finance things and like finesse the system and mm -hmm. you know that's not how you're doing it no what did you do on this so i actually accidentally signed up for it um so i was buying a camera on ebay and it was like oh finance it if you do like the paypal credit and i was like okay great so i applied and then i didn't hear anything back from it and then it was like oh well here's three hundred dollars that you can get and i was like okay that's kind of weird but then i couldn't have access to it so then i applied again and then it got me the paypal credit so i actually have two paypal accounts the paypal card and the paypal credit and they said you could get 300 for it that one the original balance of the credit i think was like 1500 yes yeah. the limit is 1500 you have 1213 dollars yeah. 85 cents with 30 dollars 44 cents of interest accruing yeah. and a minimum monthly payment of 42 dollars yeah but when you got the product yeah how are you how are you expecting to pay for the product in the first place I, this ebay product i was gonna like pay it the minimum monthly and no 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 you said you accidentally got approved yes if you didn't get approved how are you gonna pay for it i was just not gonna get it because then i didn't have the money for it so you applied to buy it and you thought that's not an accident, though. You applied for it. You applied for the credit. That's not an accident. You well, just got approved. Well, I mean, like, if they approve it, then that's great. Then I'll be like, okay, then I can use that. And then Which pay is what happened. Later. That's not an accident. You applied yeah. for it. I didn't understand. 
understand what the two separate accounts were. I thought they were the same account. You shouldn't apply for anything that you don't understand. Okay. No? I mean, yes, I, I agree with that. I think at that time I was like, oh, well, you know, it's fine because then I have an extra credit card. So then if I need that for emergencies, I'll just leave it alone, which that didn't happen. <laughs> so I'm guessing, I mean, just from the sounds of it, now I... Some of the things that you said, okay, mm. correct. Like if, if they said, just go, I mean, they're your parents. They're your, who you listen to. They're mm. like, just go take her off the bed. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's. Um, now, some of the deflection that you're like, oh, but they didn't teach me and all this stuff like that. It's like, okay, come on. No one else gets taught that. And like, they didn't convince you to build your balances on the credit cards. But I'm assuming through the lack of knowledge from them, lack of knowledge to you, have you ever heard of this little fancy thing known as an emergency fund? No, actually. Okay, so credit cards, uh, they don't really cover, they're not really good for emergencies because they accumulate interest. You'll never beat it with your investments, really, unless you have some weird unicorn. We have an emergency fund to cover those expenses. But if you do have to put it on a credit card, which sometimes that does happen in situations where people have, do not have a fully funded emergency fund yet, then you cut down on everything. You cut down on absolutely everything, 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 everything until you pay off that debt and then build up the fully funded emergency fund. So You're just sitting I, there like... <laughs> Today, let's talk real quick about one of the smartest financial moves you can make. If you've got a family, securing term life insurance should be at the top of your to-do lists. And hey, I know it sounds all serious and adultish, but hear me out. Let me introduce you to Fabric by Gerber Life. It's important to note that this isn't the same prehistoric life insurance that your parents had. Fabric was created by parents for parents, so they totally get that you want quality without the hassle. Imagine getting a million dollars in coverage for less than the cost of your daily Starbies. Yep, it literally costs less than a dollar a day to get started. And the best part? You can apply totally online all on your schedule. No appointments or piles of paperwork, just apply when it's convenient for you. Like I said, not your parents' high maintenance life insurance. You could literally be covered in less time than it takes to watch your daily dose of funny cat videos with no exam required. So why go with Fabric? Because they're backed by Gerber Life, a name trusted by families for over 50 years. And with over 1,800 five-star reviews, you know that they're doing something right. Plus, they offer more than just life insurance. We're talking free digital wills, another thing you definitely need, investment accounts for your kiddos to start setting them up for financial success, and tools to manage your family's finances, all right from your phone. So do yourself a favor and head to meetfabric.com slash Caleb and apply today to lock in your low rates now. Now, especially if you're young and healthy, there is no better time to do it. It's quick, there's no risk to apply with their 30 day money back guarantee, and you can cancel anytime. Seriously, don't wait. Apply now at meetfabric.com slash Caleb, M E E T fabric.com slash Caleb. Thanks again to Fabric for sponsoring this episode. Well, so I, tr I thought about like saving up money, like having some kind of savings account, but when yeah. I brought it up in conversation, like, oh, should I be saving for my retirement and all that stuff? With who? My parents. Well, fuck your parents. We've yeah. learned that your parents are stupid when it comes to finances, so why even talk yeah. to them? Because they were kind of like the only like adult, I guess, I felt like I could. Yeah, but obviously trust. not financially. N now I'm like, no. Now? now? Okay, now. how long did it take you to learn that? Six years? Seven years? Six months that I'm like, okay. So like, when you were going into all the student loan debt, you yeah. didn't realize that was bad until just recently? Yes, when they started asking for like student loans to start paying now. Now that's actually like I have to start oh. paying because then now they're saying oh well we can't pay the parent plus loan we need you also, to pay this thing you bought on ebay once you yes. realize even if it was an accident even yeah. though that's not how it works why don't you just sell it because i really like the camera and it was okay so you camera. wanted it so you would have gotten yes. anyway with that okay so it wasn't an accident because if it was an accident what i do is whoopsie it's uh an accident let me get rid of it and then pay off the debt that's what i do when an accident happens yeah but like it was a really good camera and okay well that's so you know but then it wasn't an accident you would solve it also you just can you afford this i can kind of afford spoiler the alert it's late payments coming can you afford this i guess with the late payments no no and the account is closed so i actually can't use the account anymore good why is it closed because i couldn't pay so then I had to catch up with the late fees and late payments. And so they closed the account. 
so I can't use it anymore. You have a Disney card. How the f- why the f- do you have a Disney card? So ironically, it, we were at Disney and they were offering a promotion. We'll give you, I think it was like at the time, like $500 if you sign up for a Disney card and you get approved. And I was like, oh, well, that seems like a good idea if we go to Disney. So I signed up and then they approved it. And if you spend a certain amount, you'll get that money back. So then I spent it for another Disney vacation to get the rewards dollars. And at that time, my parents were also like, oh, well, we'll help you pay it back. And this thing, would they, would, I'm just, I just need to know, would they agree? Would they agree? If I called them right now, would they say, yes, that's what we said. We said we will pay back all of her little debts if she takes us out the debts. They'd probably say yes, but that, that, that. But. But they'll probably like, oh, well, she's an adult. She can pay it. Well, I mean, yeah, no and you took it out it was still your yeah. responsibility but of course i mean there could be some manipulation behind it if they said they would pay for it and they really tried to convince you to get it mm. but they would agree with that i mean now they probably would probably i mean yeah they're just kind of like no we you know it's your debt you take care of it yeah but would they agree that they convinced you to take it out and saying they'd pay for it well, my mom was there when I signed up for the card and she was like, okay, yeah, just do this and it'll be fine. And I was like, okay. That's different than saying that she'll pay for it. Saying it'll be fine is different than I will pay for this. Well, for a bit, they were kind of helping me pay for it. No, 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 why? I mean, that's just like an immediate, just like, you're just trying to, like, you're bullsh**. Don't bullsh**. Okay, on the Disney card, the special little Disney princess mm-hmm. card. Limit $3,000, but we're over that by $51.25. Great. Uh, uh, oh, what? It's at its, it's at its limit. Why are you purchasing $374.21? If it's accruing $53 and you're only making the minimum monthly payment and it's at its f***ing limit, now it's above the f***ing limit because of the interest rate. Why are you possibly purchasing $374.21? I kind of So you get rewards dollars if you use it for groceries? Yeah, um, yeah, 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 but why are you putting that on a card that is at the limit? Because I don't have money, so then when I pay the card and if that's the money I have, then... My dude... I have this fresh little document here. Bullshit food was 7% of your spending going out. I don't have money. I don't have money. I don't have money. Is that what you said? Miscellaneous bullshit things that do not improve or benefit your life in any way whatsoever. 14.7% of your spending. I don't have money. That is a choice. You're spending it all, dude. What's the balance of this? From? From? So or is that, it just these $374 of purchases? Also, what are you f- talking about? What are you talking about? You went to the Al- Alamo Draft House, Living Tombstone, yeah. Chick-fil-A, Alliance Event. This isn't I don't have money. This is you spending it on a bull. The f- are you talking about lying to me like that? Come on. I forgot that I did use it to buy tickets to a concert because they had pre-sale prices. How do you think you can afford to go to a concert if you have late payments on other things that are coming? I would just pay it. But you can't afford it. And then you went out to eat twice? Well, what's that little smirk? No, it's just, you know, like, I did forget that I used it and it wasn't until... Have you ever budgeted yeah. in your life? I tried. I had, like, a spreadsheet of, like, what needs to be paid and when. And then when I calculated it, it was negative. And how'd that go? I stopped doing it. Why? Because I didn't have money for food or gas. Why don't you care? I do Because someone care. who cares would continue it and try to figure out a way. Someone who cares would pick up a part-time job if they don't have the money. Which, by the way, again, what was it? Minimum 25% of your spending went to bullshit. So last year, a lot happened. And that's kind of why I haven't gotten a part-time what job. What happened? So one, I moved. Um, I did make a bad choice on that. Everyone moves. Okay. So what? So what? I ended up taking up an apartment with 1700 rent. Um, and You're then, in a 1700 rent place. Not right now. I moved out. Okay. But that's after paying the lease break, which was a whole month's rent on top of the month's rent. Yeah. Um, so I was there for that's three rough. months. And then my cat that I had, she got sick. 
So okay. I had to take her to the vet. You didn't have pet twice. insurance. I did not have pet insurance because get pet insurance. When I did, they didn't cover anything because it was per her pre-existing condition. She was ah, sixteen. Oh. Um. So each vet visit was like two seventy-five, and then the third I went, I had to put her down. So that was another like two hundred to cremate her. Um, Why'd you move into a seventeen hundred? Because I didn't have right. any money to move anywhere else. What? Wait, what do you mean? That doesn't make sense. So I didn't have money for security deposit and my credit score so, tanked. And what, are you saying you were already there? Yeah, it was really bad last year. Like early last year. Because I wasn't able to work full time because I was oh, doing... No, 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 no. What was the... It was 70... What was it before? It was 1100 I was sharing it with my brother. So it was like split. It was like And a, was he staying there or did he move out and that's how the, the cost He moved out. You? So you were covering the double, his portion. Well, I moved from a two bedroom to a one bedroom, and that one bedroom was seventeen hundred. So you did move, which is not complexes. I used, so if I kind of if you couldn't, no offense, but yeah, if you couldn't scrap together enough for a security deposit, yeah. how, how how do you think you could afford six hundred more dollars a month in rent? I just started my new job and I was just trying to scrape by. Um, so yeah, I. But if you're trying to scrape by, does six hundred dollars a month more like? I, I'm not even saying put things on credit cards, yeah. but I would put a security deposit on a credit card. At that point, it would save money. And that's still a terrible mm -hmm. idea, but it's a better idea than what you did. Okay, either way, yeah. you broke the lease. What's your, what's your rent now? Right now, I only pay eight ninety. Okay. Um, for okay. the So it's more like, okay, what it should be around. Um, and then I pay about $70 to utili utilities. Okay. Yeah. And I split it with my roommate. Or split. So that's only my portion. So the total, I think, is like... Was it like seventeen hundred seventy a month um, between like for both of us for a two bedroom? We'll teach you how to budget. I'm gonna create a budget mm -hmm. for you, and we're gonna go through things. But you're gonna go through our budgeting class. Mm -hmm. We're putting we put you through it for free. We'll teach you everything you need to know about budgeting, and you'll stick to a budget there. Okay, so what do we got going on here? Dentistry. Mm -hmm. This is what you owe two hundred. Yes. So. Okay. Yeah, that's a bull I got because my insurance wasn't going to cover the x-ray. Um, I was having a lot of teeth pain, so they needed to do an x-ray. Girl, shall we one more time? Going out to eat, $345. Extra bull $725. Why'd you not pay this $200 that you owe? What the f*** are you doing? You're f***ing around. Well, you're just being irresponsible. You're not 25, you're 15. Well, because I'm like, I'm not sure if I want to... I wasn't sure what to do about that. What? What do you I... mean? You pay it. What? What, what do you mean? Well, because it's like if I make a payment to the card, but then the interest takes out the payment of the card. What are you talking so about? Then... You just pay this off. It's $200. And you spent $900 yeah. on it. What are you talking about? Yeah, I was just trying to figure out how I'm going to pay that because I also What do you got mean? Paid. You just pay it. All your money, whatever. What do you mean you're just trying to figure it out? I, I want to understand that logic a little better so I can understand what you're talking about. Well, because I'm worried that if I pay it, then that money that I paid it could have paid something else. But you didn't. Like, yeah, it went out to eat. It went out yeah. to eat. It didn't go to paying other things. So what the f are you talking about? Well, I, I was thinking when I get paid this week that I was going to call and then talk about paying partial. Why didn't you last? Partial? Why? Why? You have the money. If you come back, yeah. you're spending on other things. Why is paying your bills not important to you as a person, it, I as a human, as an adult? Plan on it. Yeah. No, you could have. Why haven't you? Why aren't you being mature? Because I'm like, yeah, it's no, 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 no. Why? I couldn't. Why out did you actively it. choose not to pay this? Don't tell me because you're trying to figure it out. I want to know why you had this bill and you chose to ignore it when you went and spent your money on bullshit that we haven't gotten to yet. I just have a lot of other bills that I don't think. Listen to the second part of my question, where instead. You went and spent it on bullshit we haven't gotten to yet. So why did you not pay this off instead of going to those things? I didn't have the money. Like, I, <laughs> am I, are my words like not flowing to that side of the table? Like all of them are only half of them making it? Why'd you not pay this instead of? Instead of, instead of the other nine hundred dollars you spent on bull, the instead of is the key part. Didn't have money, but you went and spent it on that stuff. So why did they go to that stuff instead of this? 
I don't know. Okay. Okay. If you need to get yelled at, go to calebhammer.com slash casting because this world needs to... <laughs> I know there's more people out there. <laughs> slash apply. I'm sorry. calebhammer.com slash apply. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I might need a breather. Oh, especially after this. Now, for what it's worth, I had yeah. some Sally Mae loans when I was being a dumb f and I didn't understand anything about finances. Mm. This was the exact conversation I needed to have. Hopefully, I would have been able to answer that last question, mm. but who knows? But you have Sally Mae. Yes. You went to that s that <laughs> Sally. So she's kind of a yeah. Not the biggest fan of this this Miss Sally. Sally Mae, we owe seventeen thousand one hundred twenty dollars and seventy one cents. So when you when you said your parents told you to mm. take out debt. Did they so, also say do private debt? So that one was my choice. Yeah. Oh, so we've will, taken yeah. responsibility. This is interesting. Yes, because I decided to go back to school, and that's where I got the coding boot camp certificate. This? Yes. This was the cause of a coding boot camp? Yes. Through who? Through UT. Oh, that's an expensive one. Yeah, it's a 6 I've looked month. at that one before. Yeah. It's a good one, but it's, oh, it's expensive. Yeah. And so I was looking for a career change because... I wasn't really making a whole lot of money, and that's when yeah. I noticed that like my bills I was falling behind. So, well, that's because of your spending, dude. That's because of your f***ing spending. You're yeah. trust me. You in your situation, more income is not going to solve your problems. You're just going to inflate your lifestyle surrounding that. I would love you to work in this yeah. field if this is what you want to do, but that's not what solves it. It's not what solves your problem. Yeah, I'd say it's a combination of last year because other stuff happened, and then trying to adjust. Okay, yeah, this cat, year. and then. The well, rent. and also my car. Oh, what happened? The car that I have here? It's It was a different car that I was oh. almost done paying off. Yeah. So I only had $50 left to pay. Ooh. And then the hailstorm hit Austin in September. Yeah, and you had insurance. Yes, so it totaled the car. And you had insurance. I did have insurance. So I did have the insurance to make a down payment on the car that I have now. But my credit score was tanked. And I didn't have anyone. I didn't know anyone what that had the, good credit. What was the down payment you got? I got 8500 Oh, f me oh my gosh when we get to this car knowing that that makes it even worse yeah oh stay tuned for that ladies and gentlemen if you like car loans that make you shiver and wither up and die yeah and then i also but you're planning to work part-time you said at the end of this i'm looking for a full-time job so i've oh, been applying okay. to full-time jobs but in the meantime what jobs are you applying to so I'm looking for um, full stack development jobs, yeah. but also like front end web development jobs. And then I also recently applied to a QA tester job. Are you open to doing any kind of internships or anything like that as well? Getting a foot in the door? I was Just because the market's a bit harder right now. Yeah. And that's what I was looking at to whether or not that's something I could do. Because I did see a lot of like, oh, well, you need six to eight years experience or you need to be in a computer yeah. science degree. I mean, obviously, so, they want the best of the best candidates, and yeah. there is an oversupply of people in this field right now. Yeah. Just uh, depending, just for where the job market is. Yeah. If you had a lot of experience in top talent and AI, that's where people are shoving out money right now. But that's yeah. again, that's for the people at the top of that game. It's been yeah. really interesting to follow that market. Um, and I am going to start applying. I've been mainly applying to jobs that are here in Austin, but gosh. I'm going to start looking elsewhere and see if you might have to go more for smaller companies that yeah. have. You know, lower pay available, so like yeah. people with that large amount of experience might not accept the job, but it allows you to build experience and a resume. And that's kind of why I'm here too, is like to figure out what, like with the amount of debt I have, what can I manage, or if I just need to shut everything down and then. And you said you've been applying for part-time jobs. Yes. What? So Chick Fil A, Alma Draft House, since yeah. I've gone. How have you not gotten Chick Fil A? I, I, I haven't I, heard yet. I got some grilled nuggies. Yeah. Because I'm losing weight, guys. I'm down like three pounds. <laughs> and they have good food. Good and food. I got some grilled nuggies yesterday. And uh, so it's a bunch of, bunch of twinks and tweens. Yeah. Like, it's just like, unless they're only yeah. looking for twinks and tweens, I don't see how you're not getting. Yeah. I haven't heard back. Oh, did you apply? I applied to specifically Chick-fil-A, like, last this last weekend. So oh, very recent. Okay, okay. Very recent. Well, that's three days ago. So um, that's not... Okay, well, that doesn't shock me then. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, apply for everything like that. Yeah. Um, obviously, that's not where we're hoping to stay. But you do, because 
You said, when does this end again? It, my last day is on the 31st. Oh, f this but month. my last paycheck's on the 5th. Uh, okay. Um, and so, yeah. Oh, f yeah, because yeah. we all need some income to replace. Yeah. Hmm. A good question. And I've looked no, to it. No, you like, could look this up for me. Yeah. If you're on a contract position, you don't qualify for unemployment, do you? Because I've it has heard. a known end. So I've heard, but the most I could get would be like five, five, twelve. I think per week, and that's according to someone okay. that I know that just finished up the contract. And the contract yeah, sure. requires three months break, and there's no guarantee they can hire me back. The Sally May for the boot camp, mm -hmm. two hundred forty-eight dollars a month, mm -hmm. and it's a f almost fourteen percent interest mm -hmm. rate. Of and that one is automatic payment, so I haven't been late on that. I've been making the payments because it kind of goes through yeah until you're negative in a checking account another yes. spoiler alert. is this just insurance or is this a debt to insurance that is my insurance okay, we'll and that. it went up 20 bucks i think this year personal loan. oh f yeah this is the car that is not the car this is not the car oh that's that right that's right the car is coming yeah Oh, okay. A 32.02% personal loan. Worse than a credit card. Yeah. Worse than like bad credit cards of $5,799.50. Are we blaming this on the parents again or what the f is going on here? That was me a few years ago struggling to try and make it on my own. And they sent a check in the mail and I was oh, no. trying to pay rent. Oh, no. It and was I thought those... it was a good idea. Oh, no. It was, oh, f it was one of those loan checks. Yeah. Oh, f I didn't. Obviously, they uh, they wouldn't exist. People didn't take them out, but I've never, I don't think I've ever met anyone who actually took it out. That's, a, that's wild. Yeah. That's wild. And instead of working more? I did work two jobs at a yeah, time. Yeah, but how many hours? I was working 50 hours. But again, it's like low-paying jobs. That sure, wasn't keeping but up. I mean, if we're just trying to survive again, yeah. and I bet your spending did not help. Yeah. I was... I mean, come on. Yeah. But I don't have access to the documents then, so I don't yeah. know for sure. But... And then it was a lot of like I'd also, rather work fifty to sixty hours then yeah. instead of taking out a thirty two point zero two percent interest rate of death because yeah. this thing just is gonna take forever to pay off five thousand seven hundred ninety nine dollars and fifteen cents. Yeah. Oh, that was the original. Yeah. Thank, thank yeah, you no, it's not this that bad. forever. No, yeah. it's still so bad. It's three thousand dollars. What are you talking yeah. about? Yeah, so it's they not that bad. had the thing of like, oh well, if you apply for more, they would just hold off on you owing money. So then that's kind of why that balance had grown to that bad was because I couldn't How many times it. did you do that? I did it once. And it was because it was towards the holidays. You are addicted to that. A $130 minimum monthly payment. This is, yeah. and we're making little progress here, right? Yeah. It's a 44 month loan. Okay. Listen, personal finance is hard and I struggled with it for a long time until I personally educated myself. We decided to create resources that can actually help people at an affordable price. So if you wanna learn how to budget, we have the best budgeting program in the history of the internet. But if education and quizzes and resources like that are not what you're looking for, we also have a unique coaching program with a licensed professional who you can sit down with cheaper than anywhere else. We made these resources for you so you can change your life around and have the best financial future possible. They're at the top of the description below. I highly encourage checking them out. On the, I will say on the bright side. Oh, there's a bright I, side to this somehow. Yes. Um, because of how much debt I have and how much my credit score taints, I can't, I'm not qualified to be financed for anything. Oh, good. So, yeah, that's a <laughs> All right. Yeah. Celebrate. Let's so have a I party. can't, even if I wanted to. Oh, so. PayPal part two. Mm -hmm. This is a classic PayPal. Yeah. And that one I've been debating if I should just pay it off now or just like try again, to again, 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 again. You could have paid this $291 and the other medical bill. You could have paid that instead of like globbing down food. That's it. Yeah. And well, so is the answer you don't know why you didn't pay? Because you're considering this. So yeah. you've considered it, but you actively chose not to then. Yes. But that one, I've actually been trying to. I was close to paying it off. And then... Dude, I you need... put twenty one dollars and sixty five cents of purchase on there. So, do with that. That was last month. Yes. And the month before, I was actually higher, but then what? I forgot my debit card at the grocery store, was so... and I was already in line. Oh, oh. You don't just have the same wallet with you everywhere. I do. It's just sometimes my cards end up in my pocket, in my mm. dirty laundry, or buried somewhere. Interest fees: thirty four dollars and seventy five cents of fees. What? 
Oh, is it a late fee? Oh, it was a late fee. Yeah. If we're having late fees, are we going out to eat? Are we getting concert tickets? On that card, I No, the answer's no. What you say is no is the answer. Okay, no. Proud of you. You made it. This wasn't going to the grocery store. Again, you f me. I believed you because you're a human being sitting across from me. What so I believed that? you. Patreon. $21.65. Patreon. I... Better be subscribing to our post show if you're spending. No, but that's only $5 a month. So I don't know what the f you're doing. I actually didn't know that was attached to the card. I thought it was attached oh. to my debit card. Does it matter either way? You can't afford it. You had late fees. Yeah, I just thought. What is a $20 a month Patreon? So it's a Patreon that has like translated novels on it. And they update every day with like chapters. And I've been, I'm a big reader. Okay, you can't afford it. Go to the library. Congratulations. We have a nice one here. Hmm. I've been there. It's good. It's pretty nice. It's just the travel. Oh, down. no. Roads. Ah. <laughs> you pay a lot for your car. Use it. Okay, oh, credit. Yeah. And that one I used to cover my cat's bills. When I huh. I had the cat insurance, and that's when I found out they weren't going to cover anything. But that's also when I found out she had a heart defect. she alive? She's dead. I'm sorry. That sucks. Pets are the best. Mm -hmm. Cats, dogs. Love them all. Yeah, and I had her for 16 years, so. That's really hard. Dude, we have fees again. We can't be having fees. Even in a yeah. sad moment, we can't be having fees. You can use the tissue if you want. I know, I'd be sad. I couldn't, I, I, it's like the worst day ever, losing. What's well, essentially like a sibling. $747.05 on here. Interest charging $17.13. Fees twelve dollars and twenty cents, mm -hmm. and minimum payment of thirty dollars. Great. And I did catch up on that one because that one was always overdrafted, and it did reduce the original balance. So originally it was twelve hundred, and then as I've been paying it off, they've been reducing the balance. You may qualify for our employment. How that depends on the details. Capital One. We continue. We're on uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now nine. Nine debt. Yes. 25 years old. Capital One was my fault. Okay, go on. I used to work at a craft store and it had oh, real deals. And that was oh, when good I deals. That was when I first moved into a better apartment than where I was living at before. You know, it's so, a bad deal, 30% interest. And then I kind of just used that to help pay for rent or for oh. at the time. Decorations Ugh. and furniture and Ugh. things for my apartment. Forty-eight dollars of interest. The limits at two thousand, but we're at one thousand nine hundred forty-six dollars yeah. and fifty-eight cents with those six sixty-eight dollar minimum payment. Okay, thirty percent interest. I'm working on paying that one off. I don't. I think we have different definitions of working. Apple, because mm -hmm. you have every card. You have every card known to mankind. $1,213.76. Okay. With a $40 minimum monthly payment. Mm -hmm. A balance has only gone up, so that's great. Interest, $27.82. 27.24% interest. Okay. What was that? So that one was to finance my iPad, which Your I do iPad. use. Your iPad. I do this use is every the most day. iPad's ever been really? Yes. I swear most people buy an iPad and then it sits on a table uncharged for the remainder of its life. No, I do it to read, to watch TV, to draw on all the works. You don't um, have a computer, you don't have uh My I used to have a MacBook, but that died. And okay. I didn't have money for a new MacBook. I mean, it works. So, it, yeah. it works. Uh, watching TV. I mean, I'd get a Kindle for like a couple hundred bucks, right? To... I do have a Kindle. This yeah. is a thousand dollars. Yes. Thousand two hundred and thirteen dollars. Yes. You could have got like a three hundred dollar Kindle, right? Guess I could. You just have. wanted something nice and you went into debt for it. Come on. I, okay. I do. It's just, I was also what? looking for Procreate too, because that's Procreate. And that was, that's an art program. Uh huh. And that was the main reason why I got the iPad. A want. Yes. Yeah. How does it get bigger? This is the biggest one. 
besides the Sally Mae. Yeah. Okay, Wells Fargo. That was from that original car- credit card from a long time ago that just got worse. The 300. It started at 300 and went to $4,923.05. Yes. I did close that account. Close all the accounts. You're not a credit card person. Yeah. Use the Fizz card if you're going to use a card to build credit. Okay. You are not a credit card person. You need to close all these accounts, chop up the cards. You cannot have access to these. You just can't. You're irresponsible. You you, you can't. You have no yeah. capability of managing this by any means. You, you're probably great at many aspects of life. Mm. This you're not. And that's okay. Admit it. Admit your flaws and fix them. Cut it. Okay. Don't allow yourself to be... But that one actually... What's the limit on this? That one originally was 5500 But since it's closed, I've just been reducing it because it just built interest because the minimum payment was like 150 And so right now the interest is at 1% for 12 months. For, for 12 months. When does the yeah. 12 months end? I think August of this year. That's basically coming up right around the corner. Yeah. And, and we're still at 4923 $99.21 of interest uh, is your minimum monthly payment. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, and they were trying not to get me to close it, but I was like, no, I'm not well, no paying sh- this. Yeah, close it. Capital One car. Vroom, vroom. That is the car, yes. Zoom, zoom. What did yes. you get? What's the car? It's a 2015 CRV Honda. At $16,634.62. Mm-hmm. Well, the minimum monthly payment of $441. This yeah. Is bad. In your situation, you have n- no job coming up here soon. This is, that's f- scary. Yeah. Oh, I, I know. I remember the interest rate being bad. Mm. What is it? Because it's not eighteen percent. Are you? F- yeah. Well, that's that's. F- and it's over five years. Um. So and you put how much down on it again? I put six thousand five hundred because the other. Okay, you put six thousand five hundred yeah. down on this car. You owe sixteen thousand six hundred thirty-four dollars on it. Yeah. Uh. An 18% interest, but it's only worth $10,000, by the way. Mm, yeah. I was looking for a car that was sturdy because... Sturdy? Yeah. Cause hey, girl, you're not like my 600-pound life or something. <laughs> what What do you need sturdy for? What are you What are you hauling around sturdy? You just need a sedan to get you from A to B safely for a few years. Sturdy? What's sturdy? What are you looking for? Sturdy. I was looking for a car that wasn't going to break down in like That doesn't years. mean having to get a Honda CRV. Yeah. At a terrible deal, terrible interest rate. So another thing is that because it was around the time when all the hailstorms hit, it was hard. Hailstorms, hailstorms every, I've been here five and a half years. Yeah. When was this? So this was September. So this is when like all of Round Rock dealerships, their cars got crushed. I remember that. Yeah. Um, and so I was looking at different options and like the dealership that I went to, they didn't have a whole lot of cars. And so that was one of the cars that they had. I was like, can I get dealerships all over town, not just in Round Rock. So in I went South Austin. They're in Central Austin. They're in West. I Austin, went to the one in South Austin. Okay. Yeah. Go to Central Austin. Go to West Austin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't find any cars. How that, long like, did you? Work. How long did you look for a car? For a few weeks. Ding ding ding! There it is. I mean, just a few weeks. Like in a tough car market, especially when some of the cars get destroyed from a hailstorm. Yeah. You're, like I don't think you're patient enough. You also probably you wanted to get something nicer than you could of. I wanted something that wasn't banged up on the outside like i yeah i get that i get the want but did it could you did it make sense though because first of all you only see it when you're outside of the car it's like as long as there's not internal damage i'm just i'm just trying to get you to survive i want you to have the car that you want Mm -hmm. but just like you've with where the balance is and with where the down payment is you know like your position is like you've lost 50 percent of your money on this car yeah yeah, I definitely was trying to get a car in a hurry for sure. Um, you okay? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's a lot, dude. That's the point of this conversation. Getting called out on the b- the very first time. Everyone thinks they're living the good life. Everyone thinks they're doing okay. Things aren't that bad. You're getting called out on it. This is the wake up call that is critical yeah. for the people that are coming on the show. Th- and it's a lot. And I think the frustrating part was that I was so close to paying off my old car. Yeah. And I was so excited to have that extra money. 
But even with the insurance, man, if we just looked at a ten thousand dollar beater, that AC may have sucked. It yeah. may have been dinged up on the outside. It may not have even been the most comfortable, but would have gotten you from A to B for a few years to come safely. Mm-hmm. You could have put. You could have done. You could have put half down with the insurance money. You just you went with a twenty thousand dollar car. Yeah, I thought it was a at the time. I thought it was a better option than getting a new car that would have cost a lot more. Because even my sister around that time, she also got a new car, and that was like that was bad too for her. So I was trying not to. I don't know. I was just trying to find something safe. I get it. I and get at least it. Hondas, they last a while. And uh, that that is like, I mean, yeah. it's not like, yes, cars get safer every year. But it's yeah. not like magically a car from 10 years ago is going to kill you the moment you step inside yeah. of it, you know? It's like, I, that's, that's one of the things that American consumers, when it comes to buying cars and want to justify overspending, mm. immediately tell themselves to justify things. It's the safety. It's the safety. Yeah. It, they weren't death traps 10 years <laughs> yeah. ago, you know? Yeah. Well, this one's nine years old, so, I mean, you you know that. Yeah. Um, and don't get me wrong. When you're getting it, the car market was harder than it is today, and it's still pretty Yeah. But I know you could have gotten something $10,000. It's the old version of the Dave Ramsey $2,000 car is 10000 yeah. today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so definitely, yeah, kind of, I was definitely in a rush for that. But you still would have saved more money in the long term, searching out the looking process for two months and Ubering during that time. Yeah. Like, you would have saved more money. Federal student loans. Yeah. Highest one at 5.05%. Not I thrilling. did sign up for the IDR for that. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's kind of what reduced the original balance, which would have been like 200 something a month. But it's still like... What is month. it? Now it's like 109 a month. Okay, we owe yeah. thirty thirty two thousand one hundred ninety dollars and forty two cents mm-hmm. at one hundred nine dollars a month, I guess. Yeah. Now, what is this? So that one's also a UT loan. Um, this is different. Yeah, so it's labeled under a different loan. I'm so confused. It's only nine hundred twenty nine dollars, but you have a f-ing late fee. Yeah. Past due forty dollars. What are yeah. you doing? So that Come one. Come on, dude. I mean, this is just yeah. basic. Yeah. That one's going to be along with the other ones of I'm trying to pay, but by the time I could no, you're make not. a payment. You're not trying to pay. Again, $900. On you're not trying to pay. So I'm not, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not going to allow you to bull yourself because mm. you are not trying. I'm sure if you put the effort, I'm sure there's mm. so many things that you try it that you absolutely kill at. You know, maybe on the art side and stuff, you absolutely mm. kill at that when you mm. try. You know what trying looks like. And what yeah. you've done here is not trying. Correct? Yes. Come on. I'll, I'll say yes. I want you to be real with yourself. Because if you put real effort in to managing your finances and budgeting, real trying, you would not have a $40 missed payment. Oh my gosh. Really goes. Yeah. Oh, so you didn't even pay for breaking the lease. You still owe eight hundred dollars. Yeah. Oh. So and every I talk every to debt too. that yeah. just stumbles in your life, you're just like, hmm, debt. Yeah. You owe six hundred dollars to your parents. Yes. Four. We're gonna go on a cruise next month. No, no, you're not. And no, you're so not. No, you're not. My dad paid for the tickets, and he's like, "Yeah, you can just pay me back." So that's, that's not your dad paying for the tickets. That's not your dad paying for the tickets. That's you borrowing money from your dad. And yeah, so it's so you're not in a salaried position with like paid time off. You're not in a part time job that offers paid time off on this cruise. You're just not going to be working. You're not going to be making any kind of income. Girl, you can't afford to go on this cruise. That's why I'm trying to at least hurry up and get a part time job starting next week. If I can. How long is the cruise? It's the I think 13th to the 17th. So it's like from a a four day cruise. Okay, that's probably wrong. It's a Thursday to a Wednesday, but it starts oh, on the 13th. It's a six-day so cruise. Yeah. You can't afford to have a week off of work. So I'm just going to be working, try to work as much as I can, get back on. I signed up for Uber Eats, so I'm going to try to work on driving for that because DoorDash wasn't making any money. Money owed to a friend. Yes. For what? 
two hundred dollars. So she, so I do kind of pet portraits on the side, and so she you had do. yes. Okay. But that hasn't been making any money because people weren't. I mean, I also am terrible at marketing myself, so I have someone else marketing for me, and that hasn't gone well. Um, so she had placed an order, and then she's like, "Well, actually, I don't have the animal anymore for her situation." So she's like, well, "How do you it. owe two hundred dollars to a friend?" She paid in advance, even though I did not want to accept it. She was like, "No, I just want to pay it so I can get out of the way." So she sent me the money. Oh, so it's like a refund? Yes. Good. F- yeah. Is that it? That should be the it of the credit card debt. Yes. Of all debt. Of all debt. I did get in the mail debt for the doctors. Oh, oh person, your doctor? Yes. Originally, even after they said they were going to charge it as a physical, so the bank, the it was interest just a cover physical. It. Yes. And they still charge me. Do you have insurance? I do. They How didn't much? do the blood charge. How much for the lab? $69. And then I had to go back to the labs because. Oh, what's what's oh total, please. Right now it's total. like ninety nine dollars. When did you get that in the mail? I got that a couple days ago. Also, with this lighting and whatever we do on it, we're tr- or we think is we're just experimenting. Is it like more Different interesting? Vibe. Is it more dramatic? Let us know what you think <laughs> in the comments below. Or scary or anything. Ooh. Okay. When did you get that in the mail? I got it a couple days ago. So like today's okay, Wednesday. That's fine that you haven't paid that yet. Yeah. Yeah, I just got it. And I did pay the last copay. So Noah loves the new lighting he just told me. But we know the comment sections love changes. So. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Negative twenty seven dollars forty seven cents in the checking account. Somehow it continues to get to worse. Yeah. So for that account I put a part of my paycheck too because why what the f- why do you have so many different accounts by the way and uh, to, yeah. to, 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 uh, why are we going we're, we're paying to park there we're getting raising canes there we're selling out $200 we're uh, getting going in and getting some bullshit gas station Shipley Donuts an Apple bill of two, the seven fifty six of in-app purchase probably Golden Chick another in-app purchase six dollars forty eight cents Zelling out seventy seven Zelling out twelve PayPal and out thirteen an Apple bill six hundred uh, or six dollars and forty eight cents more Patreon more Patreon twenty one dollars and sixty five cents so that's the one that I would have been on there but I paid through D- did I think PayPal. you subscribed twice that's not, I'm gonna have to check them out because that's and then a monthly service, so you have $12 and you're negative. So we're going out to eat, we're Patreon doing, and we're doing all this stuff, but we're negative. Yeah. We're negative. Does it make, do we go to Golden Chick when we don't have money? No, 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 no. Do we go to Golden <laughs> Chick when we don't have money? Not if there's no money, no. <clears throat> but then if it's like, I'm hungry and. Shut the f- They have good prices. No, they, good prices. You know what has good f-ing prices? You know what has good f-ing prices? A loaf of bread has good prices. A loaf of bread has good prices. Little pickets of meat have good prices. Little pickets of cheese have good prices. Mayonnaise has good prices. Combine them together. Call it a sandwich. Invent that. It's brand new. It's really cool. Those have low prices. F*** off. That will forever piss me off. I'm sorry. It's not a... It's, a, it's, it's an angry... Good. Yeah. Oh, 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 we only have $5,000 in the checking account, guys. So what should we do? What what should we do? What should we do? We have $5,000. What should we do? What should we do? Not spend it. Oh, no. I think we should go to Uber Eats. Oh, I think we should also go to Uber Eats. And then we're going to get Uber Eats again. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, we may as well go to Uber Eats again and then go to Uber Eats and then get Uber Eats. Huh, that's that's curious. We're going to go somewhere and we're going to pay for parking. Then we're going to get Raising Kings. Then we're going to go to House of Capelli. Go into a gas station, get some bull- Go into a gas station, get some bullshit. PayPal out 50 bucks. Get in some Uber Eats, get in some Uber Eats. PayPal and out $30, $32. So cents. Say the Whataburger. Ga- gas station Chick-fil-A. is gas. No, there was some like $4 purchases. Are you getting $4 of gas? Okay, that was the one time where I had a water. I No, no. What else? When you go to Bucky's and you spend $12, oh, okay. what's that? That was food and a hmm, soda. Interesting, yeah. Don't yeah. bullshit me. Waterburger, Chick Fil A, jewelry. Why? That Uber was Eats money and then Vegas. tolls. Just I know you don't. You don't have. I yeah. know. I know what part of town you live in. You do not need to take tolls to live. Take the slower highway. It's okay. 
Why do we have so many different checking accounts? Just have one checking account so you can at least manage it. When you go through our budgeting program, I'm excited for you to learn things. Yeah, that one I'm probably gonna close because originally I opened up because they had a good savings that accrued yearly. But so we have a dollar. I here? haven't. Yeah, it just I wasn't managing it. So. Oh no no no! I did say the four hundred ninety-five dollars house of. Capet. Yeah. What? Why is that so much money? So that five hundred dollars definitely a negative splurge. money. But we went and spent five hundred dollars on what? That was a splurge. So it's a salon. Um. So that's kind of why I have the bleach in my hair. Because yeah, what? Was, my hair is bleached, so it has like. That's worth on. negative money. That's I worth was, missed payments on debts. I was putting money aside to help pay for it, and then because it was something that I wanted to do and i've been wanting to do for a while and it's a one-time thing so i'm not going to spend that money uh you're right for a while it was one time and you are negative and missing payments would you do it again today if no. you did not do it already no why do you say that because i'm like i really need money uh but so i had set the money aside and i was saving it aside so then i can use it for something for myself and that was what I put that money on and I was like yeah if, you know I should be fine if I as long as I pay the minimums and stuff but eventually I was gonna do it I just decided to do it sooner while I can we call your parents case. in the post show you can I can yeah. okay we'll call your parents yeah. in the post show I'm sure they're loving this for sure I was like I want to be on the show and they're like okay you sure and I'm like yeah but I don't think they know it's as bad. At the beginning, yeah, you're blaming this all on your parents. But with the spending categories again, minimum about the minimum 35% was spent on probably closer to 45%. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen individual debts. And that was your parents' fault? They didn't help. Like oh, no, why, why, hits. why, why, why should they? You're an adult. Why should they? Is it their fault or is it your fault? Regardless of help, yeah. whose fault is it? I didn't learn anything uh, oh. of like how to manage my finances. Okay, that's gonna piss but... me off. I don't even want to make a budget with that. If you're just gonna deflect and you're not gonna take yeah. any responsibility, then what are you even gonna do? What are you even gonna do going forward? What are you even gonna do? Well, right. If you can't even take a responsibility, if I make a budget, if we put you through the budgeting class, what are you even going to do? You can't take responsibility. You blame everything on everyone else. So how the f are you going to manage it in the future? How, how are you gonna, how are you going to do what's necessary if you can't even take responsibility for the past? Cuz I don't I don't want to end up like them. So right now Also, you they're... said they've given you money in the past. You said that earlier. Yeah. So they have helped. So what are you talking about? They haven't. Yeah. Sorry, continue. No, it's fine. Um, so now they're in a really bad position, and I think they're so they don't have a retirement anymore. Um, How much do you have in retirement? I don't have anything. You don't have a single cent. Mm -mm. But if we can like find an objective for you to hit, like maybe I'll, maybe I can, uh, maybe I'll fund like your first Mumu account or something. Mm. It's a good investing platform. That I use. We need to figure out like a goal for you to hit. But uh, again, like your parents' retirement, your parents' financial situation. I don't. I don't get why that means you are in what was it, fifteen individual debts? That 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 is not correlating. Unless all that money was taken out to support them, which mm. it wasn't. We've been through what it was. So why the f are you deflecting and talking about that? So right now is kind of where I'm trying to figure out what to do at this point. Um, First step, take responsibility. You know, back like in, uh, in my early years, I was just a young piece of sh doing dumb sh First thing I had to do to turn my life around mm -hmm. was take responsibility. Admit what I've done was wrong and work to improve my life and not make the same mistakes again. Mm -hmm. If you can't take responsibility, uh, the future is just not there. Yeah, I'm, just, you know, I, I don't know. I keep thinking about the worst case scenario. 
What, bankruptcy? Yeah. That'd be really tough to go through at 25, but... Especially with my car, too. I think that's what's kind of stopping me from going that route, because... You have $152,000, $27,000. Oh, 152000 $152,027 in bad debt. That is a number that just shouldn't even be considered as a number for someone in your age. That's like you having a mortgage or something. Y'all got to use my favorite high yield savings account where you can get up to 4.6% on your money plus FDIC insurance up to $2 million. You can also get up to $300 for signing up today. It's the personal high yield savings account that I use for my money. So don't let your money be losing money while it's just sitting there. Click in the link in the description below and get those bonuses. All right, let me figure out your minimum monthly payments. Then we'll start with the budget part, but let's see how much you have to pay towards the debt on a minimum monthly basis. Yeah, and after this, I'll probably just go ahead and call out and just be like, cancel the yes. cards and stuff. Yes, it's not even an option. Your minimum monthly debt payments. $1,373.38. That's, that's, that's almost one of your paychecks. Yeah. What's your rent again? It is eight ninety. And then I pay 70 for utilities. All utilities? Including yes. the internet? Yes. 70? Mm -hmm. Well, because it's split between me and my roommate. Okay. So. 70 is your half? Yes. 890 is your half? Yes. Okay. 129 for car insurance? Yes. And I am doing a thing bad. to like reduce it. One of those like mild tracker things. Sure. Gas? Gas, it's $30 for a full tank. And How many times? I normally only fill it up like once every two weeks, but lately it's because I've been going to Houston. And so it's like, that's like Are you going to continue to? I told them I wasn't going to come to Houston for a while. Okay. Um, so 60 bucks a month? Yeah. I would say 60 bucks. Phone? Phone. My parents have it on a family plan. So it's $35. You give it to them? Yes. Man, even if you were on Helium, one of our supporters who we also support, it's 20 bucks a month. It would save you money being on your own with Helium. That's kind of wild. Unless you owe money on the phone. I do. I wouldn't be surprised so my is. phone was stolen a couple years ago, and that's why I have the phone I have now. Three hundred dollars for groceries. Use the meal plan we give you in the budgeting program. Mm -hmm. One hundred dollars for your TP fund. It's anything you need to survive. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Anything else? Medical. Is there anything ongoing? Um, I go to any bills. Medical bills. Um, I'm. When I went to Lebs a second time, so it might be the same, so it might be another hundred dollars. But how often is this? Is there something with the budget for on a monthly basis reoccurring? No, not regularly. No. Okay, subscriptions. <laughs> Do you still have a pet? I have a cat now. Okay, how much on a monthly basis the budget for? So my get pet insurance. So my oh, roommate pay. gets the kitty litter and the food, and he's kind of like, I'll take care and of that. You do nothing else. No. Okay, thirty bucks for pet insurance. Okay. Now that should be it. Anything else in your life, Jim? Um, no. Anything else? $2,987.38 is the minimum you need to survive. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, again, it's kind of what I expected based on your spending. You have an extra 800 bucks a month normally. Okay. Uh, you just blow it all, which it aligned with your spending, your bullshit. So this actually makes completely sense. Okay. Uh... But you only have it for one more month. We know this yeah. to be your budget. What we don't know is what your income will be. Yeah. But what would I do? You might have to be working part a couple part-time jobs for a while. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking but of. But I need you to minimum continue to bring in this much money. Okay. Um. So with that extra 800 bucks a month, what would I do? Because uh, I'm like, I don't know if... Pay the back should... lease off immediately. Okay. And then pay off the dentist and PayPal the next month. Okay. We'll throw in the rest towards the care credit. Then month number three, you'll finish care credit and put a bit towards, uh, you're also going to take care of the doctor. So let's call it that. End of month three, month yeah. number four, where are and we? And I did want to start doing therapy, but I, since I- Yeah, budget yeah. that in. Honestly, just so you can see the rewards of it, I'm just going- Yeah. I'm just going- uh, 
smallest to largest. And honestly, mm-hmm. your federal student loans, I might just make a monthly payment until they're paid off so you can start catching up on an emergency fund yeah. and um, investing. The fact that you have $0 invested at 25 is scary because this is the best decade of your life for mm-hmm. compound growth in the market. Yeah, and by the time I'm 30, I really want to be in a, a lot better spot. It's going to take a it's gonna take a lot of work, but I, th- I, th- I think you can do it. Let's, do, let's just do some basic math again. Yeah. You'll, you'll use the debt payoff calculator in our class. 32,190. Okay, so $119,838 of bad debt. Minus that by extra $900. You should be able to throw it to it on a monthly basis. 133 months or 11 years. Okay. What? Yeah. 11 years sounds like a long time, and it's because it is. Mm. Potential things we can do. Yes. One, I don't want you to do. There's consolidation stuff. I don't really want you to do that because I think you'll just... They did deny me for that. Oh, there's also that. Can you point the mic towards your face? No. Just point it. Oh. Oh. Just don't like this. Wait it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. But in the 11 years... Yes. At some point, and I'm going to be guessing within the next two years, you're going to be in a job position that you actually want to be in. And you're going to have more than $900 to throw with this. My best guess is yeah. with an actual career that you want to go down, which might take a while to find an actual job and might take even longer to get the good paying job that you expect in that position. Because you might have to accept a lower uh, salary position. You might have to do some gig work and stuff like that. Mm. Um, but I think in the next two years, you could at least land something uh, decent. And I think realistically, all this debt could be gone in five years. Okay. If I like really cram at it. You're going to cram at it. Okay. This is, this is, this is, okay. Yes. I To be very clear, and this part sucks because I know what it's like to be on the position on your side. Actually, my debt was not as bad as this. So <laughs> I technically, I don't know. But um, I know what it looks like to have to work at something for years and sacrifice. This is overwhelming right now. But if you land that better job, mm-hmm. you have the opportunity to, by the time you're 30, have a completely independent, amazing life, get a fully funded emergency fund, start investing. You're going to throw 20 to 25% towards investing on a monthly basis. And in that higher salary field that you'll be in, you're going to retire very comfortably. I'd also sell as much stuff as you can that yeah. you don't need. Including that PayPal thing for the camera. You don't need it anymore. Sell the iPad, pay that off. Whatever you can sell that you strictly do not need to survive, yeah. do that. The car situation, that's going to be hard to finesse at this point. I think you're going to have to pay that off. Yeah. But sell as much as you can. Work as many hours as you can. Once you get your full-time job, work, work another job, which is so much easier said than done. It's so much easier said than done. Cutting everything back to zero as well. But I promise you, if you do and you work to get a... F- job any job after this mm-hmm. and then work to get your career position in five years your life will be so insanely different it will have been worth every moment and i'm almost turning 30 trust me dude <laughs> i moved here when i was like 24 these next few years are just gonna fly by like it's good it's not it basically won't even exist it's very depressing <laughs> um but it is so worth it and you do have a really bright future in front of you you just gotta grind now Reality yeah. of the situation is, bring it back, and I'm going to give you some tough love. <laughs> you got yourself into this debt. It's your responsibility to take care of it now. And the student loans are the biggest part of it. And even if you went through bankruptcy, you're not getting rid of that. So yeah. take care of this now. I don't want your credit to be f- for 10 years anyway. Because if you take care of this in five years, you might start saving up for a down payment for a home at that point. That's my ultimate goal. Which is sure. really cool. So yeah. if you're going through bankruptcy, you're going to f- yourself with that. Yeah. So... That's where I'm at today. Um, and on another bright side, my credit score has improved by like almost 200 points to, <laughs> to 594. Okay. From like 400 it was last year. So I kind of, hopefully that Don't helps. Don't take advantage of your credit. Just, just don't. I'm just hoping it helps with my refinancing if I can. All right, well, it makes card. me a little nervous of that is and any that, kind of consolidation, anything, anything that opens yeah. up more debt buy anything at all i think you're just going to build it up unless you change okay. your overall behaviors spending your budget was absolutely ridiculous you're missing payments so it's going to be a zero your debt i mean this is some of the worst debt i've ever <laughs> seen for someone at 25 technically there's no collections or irs debt so one okay 
emergency fund. There's a dollar in savings. Zero. Retirement, there's nothing zero. Real estate, nothing zero. That, that one's not really going to pull much weight, so that's going to be a hammer financial score of zero out of ten. Make sure to stick around for the post show and check out all the resources linked in the description below. Is there what I use or would use in specific situations, including the best budgeting program in the history of the internet and our coaching service. Today on the Financial Audit Post Show. We're going to call your mom. Yeah. And see if she agrees with your sentiment. Everything is their fault. Oh, wonderful. Is this mom? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Mom, Um, first I want to make sure that you're aware of the situation. To watch the Financial Audit Post Show, click the join button below.